Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit Splits with me, Fujit. Hi. So, in the store is this tank. It's called the Keller, or the Keeler. I, I don't speak German, so I don't really know. Basically, it's a tier 8 premium tank. Now, I'm going to get to its parameters and everything first, but I, I just want to talk about the tank. Now, on paper, it looks okay. I mean, here it is in the game, and it looks, well, okay. But I have a few issues with this tank, I'm not going to lie. And this game is going to show you one of those issues. This tank is, well, sluggish. I mean, there's sluggish, and there's, like, sluggish. And this one is, like, sluggish. Okay, it's a mix between an E75TS and a Louvre. Both tanks are sluggish. But... And this one's actually faster, only marginally faster, but it's still pretty sluggish. And the mobility of it, and I know it's meant to be like a super heavy tier 8, but the mobility is like, oh my god, this tank is so boring. It's a boring tank. What is it bringing me that I don't already have it T8 other than boredom? And this is the thing I couldn't escape. I mean, look at me trying to get up the hill here. I mean, I've got... I've got no damage to the engine, I've got no damage to the tracks, and it's like, oh, do I really have to go up the hill? Really? Are you really going to make me go up a small hill? Oh, okay. Oh, maybe. Oh, slowly. Oh, da-da! Finally get there. But, I mean, I've, I've spent most of the time trying to climb up the bloody hill. I've done 900 damage, and... Tier 8 is meant to be like, I expect you know certain tanks to be sort of slow and sluggish and stuff, but man, this one was just so dull. And then it got me thinking, hang on a minute. It's basically if an E75 TS and a Louvre had an illicit weekend and had a baby, and this is the outcome of that baby. And I'm saying the thing, well, why? What does this tank bring to the game that we don't already have, if anything? Does it bring anything to the game? Other than, wow, it's the same tank as the other two, just repackaged, shoved into a container, which I'll get to, and, well, there you go. I end up doing 1,200 damage and pondering... Why on earth will I go out in that tank? I have more fun in a TOG. Because it was just painful. It really was a painful, painful game. So, let's have a look how you get it. Well, it's in containers. And it's in container for gold. 18,000 gold! That's a thousand gold per container. Admittedly, you get five mystery boxes. Woo! I'm not going to pay 18,000 gold for this tank. I'm telling you that for a fact. I'm certainly not going to pay 18,000 gold with the vain hope of getting this tank. And I'm a tank collector. Now, I said with the Lanson C, it seemed a little bit pricey. This one is now taking the proverbial. Why? Why is it taking the proverbial? Well, because of this. Now, here we've got the, the Keller, the E75TS and the Louvre all together in Blitz Stars. Now you can see the DPM of this tank isn't as good as the other two tanks. Now the Louvre is, you, you can buy that for like 6,000 gold. The E75TS, it, it's not out at the moment. I don't think you can just go out and buy it, but that was never 18,000 gold either. Yet they've got better DPM. Okay, this one has a better penetration than the E75TS, but the penetration is not as good as the Louvre. Okay, it has better alpha damage. Alpha damage is nice, but it has a, it had a worse rate of fire. It has a worse reload. I mean, look at that reload time. It's almost 10 seconds compared to the E75, which is almost 8 seconds, and the Louvre, which is 8.5 seconds. And that's not the only thing. I mean, the aim time is worse. The dispersion is... Well, the same as the E75TS, but not as good as the Louvre. 
Um, the, 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 its movement is not as good. Its depression and elevation is not as good. Uh, okay, the speed, as I said, is better. The power to weight ratio is better and all that sort of stuff. The camo is better, but it's not a fantastically great tank. Again, it has the same hit points as the E75 TS because it basically is like a reskinned E75 TS. But why would you buy this tank is the question. Now, as I said, I don't have this tank on my main account. This is me playing on the press account. And this is the very first game I played in it. And to be fair, I completely bugger the game up. But I wanted to show you the game anyway. Because, you know, I want to, to show you what the tank's actually... I don't want to show you OP replays. I don't want to show you how the tank can look in a really good light. I want to show you its bare bones. I want to show you, you know, when you screw up, you screw up. And so I'm going to come over here, try and put one into this TZ4, and then every man in his dog pens me. Why? Because, funnily enough, whilst it has great HP, its armor profile is a little bit, mm, it will get bounces, don't get me wrong. I also struggled initially with this gun. Now, I'll be fair, when I first got the E75TS, I struggled with that gun until I got used to it. And I struggled with the Louvre's gun until I got used to that. And this gun is no different. You know, it, it, it's, it dishes out great, great damage. Don't get me wrong. You know, it's got mediocre penetration. I mean, the penetration's okay. It's not brilliant. It's not fantastic. It's not, you know, truly awful. But I really didn't have fun in this tank. Now, okay, I admit, I, I, I fully, fully agree that I literally just rolled out in it. But, and I have to keep coming back to this. This tank is giving me nothing different to what I already have, other than a lighter wallet, courtesy of the fact that it's in a crate. And there's no guarantee I'm going to get it in those crates. I mean, I could drop 18,000 gold and not get it. And so then I'm going to be having something that is not going to bring me anything different to what I've already got, plus I'm 18,000 gold less off. So I'm still scratching my head. What? would endow me to want this tank aside from the fact I don't have an E75 TS and the E75 TS is not for sale at the moment that is the only thing I mean once you sort of get used to the the tank okay it, it's okay it's nothing special it's not broken it's not OP it's nothing different it's nothing special about this tank there is nothing special about this tank I'm telling you so I'm still scratching my head on this one. Why would I get it? Do I want to get it just because it's got better alpha damage than the others? But then I've got a massively long load time. Do I want a better load time? Do I want big time? Oh, it's, it's, it's like, oh my God, why would I get this tank? It, it makes no sense to me. But that's me, not you. You may not have the E75 TS. You may want an E75 TS. This is not an E75 TS. It's similar, but it ain't the same. And you, you know, the E75, okay, it may struggle on occasion with some of that output with its alpha damage and penetration, but it's got a much better reload time. Much better reload time of two seconds. Two seconds better than this, which means it has better DPM. So, ah. Uh, if you've got the E75, there's no point in you getting this. And, you know, I'm cynical when I want to be cynical. And the fact of the matter remains is, I would not buy this tank. I just wouldn't do it, guys. Because it's not even bringing me variation or variety. Not really to the tier. Now, I'm not a big fan of tier 8 anyway. I, I think tier 8 is just filled to the brim with premium tanks that some are good, some are useless. And this one is just shameless, I think. Um, I mean, this is a shameless attempt of wargaming to basically get some tank into a crate. And I don't think it's necessary, personally. I really don't. Thing is, am I being unfair on the tank? Am I being unduly harsh? Well, I don't think so, personally. I, I, I really don't think I'm being on Julie Arsh. I really do think it's a rehash of what we've already got 
with some minor, minor te tweaks that don't really set it apart, but sort of on paper set it apart, but in real life doesn't set it apart. But, you know, am I being unfair? Is this a tank that deserves more attention from me? Well, with an 18,000 gold price tag, I don't agree. Because what I'm about to do now, you can do in the E75TS, you can do in the Louvre. You don't need this tank to do what I'm about to do. And I think this was the only time I had a little bit of fun in the tank. Because, as I said in previously, I mean, the thing, the main thing that was missing for me was the fun element. And that's a big thing. You know, I want to roll out in tanks and have fun. I don't want to roll out in tanks and be bored. I don't want to roll out in tanks and sort of go, oh, yeah. I want to roll out in tanks and enjoy the experience. I want to go out in a tank and have fun. I want to be entertained in the tank. I don't want to be bored. I don't want to plod through the motions, you know, just plodding along, which is what I was doing in this tank. I was plodding along. And that is, well, I think it's soul destroying, to be honest with you. Now, like I said, some of you may agree or some of you may disagree. Those of you who may disagree may turn around and say, well, what are you doing about Fuji? It's a fantastic tank. It's brilliant. It's one of the best tier 8 medium heavies that we've got. It's certainly better than the Air 75. It's certainly better than the Louvre. And that's your opinion. And you're entitled to that opinion. I'm just telling you my opinion. I'm telling you what I think about this tank. And I don't think a lot. <laughs> that is the honest answer. And I don't normally slate tanks. But this one, I'm, I, I feel I need to because it really is almost a copy-paste of what we've got. And that is shocking, to be fair. Don't get me wrong. I, I mean, this one, this game, put a marginal smile on my face. Nothing spectacular. I wasn't sort of over the moon, jumping for joy. I had a marginal f smile on my face and said, yeah, okay, that was an okay game. But that was more the game than the tank. It was more the play and the teamwork than the tank. The tank itself disappointed me. As I said, I wasn't sort of engrossed in it. I certainly won't be inviting it to birthday parties. Uh, it's, it's like, you know, it's, it's, it, this is one of those tanks that you invite to a birthday party and everybody ignores it because it's so boring. Anyway, that has been my view on the Kieler, Keller. If you're those of you who speak German, by all means, correct me because I don't speak German. It's mediocre. It's bringing nothing new to the table, I don't think. I've been Fugit, by the way, but um, by all means, comment and everything below. Give me your thoughts. Tell me where you're going on this. But seriously, for 18,000 gold, I really wouldn't be buying this tank. That There are so many more better options out there. There really, really are. I mean, if I just look in the garage at the moment, for, for 18,000 gold, what can I get? I can get two tanks for 15,000 gold. In the Sumer, it's not, uh, not a bad tank. Um, what else can I get? Oh God, I, can't, I can't even get an M60 now. Um, but I can get a Sumer for 12,000 gold. I can get an M60 for 17,000 gold. That's cheaper. I can get two tanks for 17,500 gold, again, which is cheaper. Uh, so why would I buy this one? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, is the honest answer. Anyway, as I said, I've been Fujit. That's been the killer. By all means, comment and everything below. And I'd like to hear your thoughts. Anyway, until the next time, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because to me, that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy. Something this tank failed to deliver.